Hello, I am Mike of New Linux Dice. This is the Kerbal Space Program. Uh, what are we doing today? I don't know actually, because these um, tutorials are in a weird order and I don't know what to do now. I think my choices are, if I'm doing tutorials, which I am, docking. Or to the Mun Part One. Hmm. Let's go to the Mun. To the Mun, because haven't been to the Mun in a while. Welcome to the first in a series of lessons designed to pay you for flight in and around Kevin's local system. I've been inspired by the most famous work of Jules Kerman from Kerman to the Mun. Ah, Jules there. Take a leaf out of his book and go one better by returning as well. Our first lesson will be starting from LKO, low, low Kerman orbit. Uh, and trying to the Mun, ending in low Munna orbit, or wait, Moon orbit. We're going to uh, assume you've completed the flight tutorials. Uh, proceeding this as well as orbiting 101, but if not, you should really do that. So this is our ship. So this is going to be our lander, quite a tall, thin lander from looks things, because that's where the legs are. But they're using fins to spread out the legs, so you know you've got a wider base. That's kind of interesting. This presumably is our transfer stage here. An important part of flight between celestial bodies is a transfer orbit, which basically means that orbit is used to change between two orbits. In our case, the periapsis of our orbit will be very near to Kerbin, and apoapsis will extend to just beyond the Mun's orbit. Interplanetary trajectories are much the same, but a much larger scale. So we're going to the map view. Uh, we'll need to arrange for the ship and the target to arrive at the same place at the same time. If you really know what you're doing, you can't get your transfer orbit on the fly or try eyeballing it. Much easier to use maneuver notes. Let's do that now. So, let us. Oh, you. Okay, left click, add maneuver. Maneuver nodes help you plan orbital maneuvers ahead of time, and most importantly, you can do so without wasting precious propellant. Uh, the handles are in the right color, even if they're not, they're not, they don't show up that color on the, uh, the nav ball. Uh, even though I'd like them to, never mind. So, you know, prograde, retrograde, normal, anti-normal, radial, anti-radial. Uh, click and drag the various handles, see what they do. Um, that's a fine end. Now, in case you want to bring the apoapsis to just enough to intercept the moon orbit at the point where at 45 degrees of the Mun's current position. Where is the Mun? The Mun is there. Ooh, so I want to drag that around from here, maybe. So 45 degrees is going to be about yar. So I'm going to bring it out because I actually know how to do this. And then, Ooh, there we go. So we're getting we're getting encounters. I wouldn't say that's 45 degrees. Is that 45 degrees? That's more like 60. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, that's about 45 degrees. Um, objective is correct. The orbit will shift colors when it comes close to the Mun. This indicates the point where the ship will transition from the influence of Kevin's gravity to that of the Mun. region from that pull is the sphere of influence. In real life, gravity will influence of all planets and moons and matters too. Uh, okay, I've done that. All right, so I've actually already done this one. Uh, you may also need to move around uh, until you get which you click on. You click on the thing and you drag around it. Uh, da -da -da -da. You can zoom the camera back to the original space, and if you want to start the burn planning over, you can delete the maneuver node, which you can do from there, and create from scratch. You can right-click when it's open, and then delete it there. As well, that's the other way there. Right. There we go. Plan and maneuver. Trans maneuver. Transmitter injection maneuver. Your post maneuver orbit will enter the moon sphere. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something which I think that this isn't telling me what to do. Can I click on this? Focus view. I'm going to focus the view on the mun. And fail to see my orbit. Oh, there we go. 
Right, so I've got, I've got a very good um, orbit here. I can go back here and move it around. I think that's going to be better. I miss precise node. Precise node is a thing I want at this point. But that, that's so by by focusing on the mun, by left clicking on here and then looking at that, um, I was able to see where my trajectory is relative to the mun, and I could shift my orbit around using that. All right, so now I've got a. Uh, I hit this backspace to get back to me. So now I've got a maneuver and I'm heading towards it. Uh, a few things to notice now. So bring up your nav ball, which I've done. If you, you indicate this place that weren't there before, you add the maneuver node. We saw these during the go to forward, but you know, refresh your memory. The bar on the right is a graphical depiction of the velocity change required to perform, perform the burn, 847 delta Vs. Uh, below that, you also see approximate time necessary. Oh, it doesn't know. Okay. A new timer also counts down. Uh, because we haven't fired our engines yet, the game does not know how long the burn's going to take. That's in interesting. Well, so we might not be as accurate as I would like. Never mind. So we click on. Oh, I see. We click beyond the warp. The, you click beyond the um, maneuver node and warp to next maneuver. So now I'm a minute away. Uh, one final step to take before performing the burn. You need to point your vessel. I'm just going to use the SAS to do that because oh, there we go. Maneuver. Uh, once oriented, you can worry about the burn. Here's an expert tip. Look at the burn time estimate, NA, haha. -ha. Bit of a problem with the tutorial. An instant of full thrust burn towards the maneuver note icon will reset this number without changing your current orbit enough to be a problem. Ah, my estimated burn is four minutes. Oh well. Now my estimated burn is less than a minute. Oh well, fine. That full full throttle burst thing didn't actually help. But I needed to go, I needed to, to technically, I, I should have gone a bit earlier than I was. It's going to be fine. I really wanted to go about 30 seconds before. You want, you want to have your burn start like even amounts on either side of the actual node. Because the node actually assumes that what, you're, what you do when you, when you, when you put your maneuver node, it's like I added that 847 delta V instantly, which of course you can't do. So spreading it out on either side is a good idea. I believe technically what you should do is split it up so it was 840 exactly. I'd want 420 delta V on this side and 420 delta V on this side, which is not quite the same as time. Because your rocket is u is losing mass, which means that uh, you get different amounts of delta V. And I need to actually pay attention here. I'm being very picky here. All right. Uh, good work, but you may have noticed the actual orbit is not exactly the one you had planned. This is because real burns are never instantaneous. However, close enough is good enough as long as the trajectory not markers are showing that we get a MUN encounter pretty close to the one we wanted. Uh, if you're not satisfied with your um, MUN intercept, you can still fine-tune a bit by making small burns in various directions, but be careful not to overdo it. A counter burn can, be, can undo a goof, but we don't want to be wasting fuel. Now we'll wait for you to be sucked up under the mun's gravity, but since it can take around six hours, you'll probably want to use the warp here trick like we did before, or plain old time warp. Try warping to just inside the mun's SEO. Right, let's, let's focus our view again. 
Uh, this is our current orbit. This is what I wanted, and that was a mistake. I oh I. Well, let's do that counter burn that they said would have been wasting fuel. I should have. I used S. And I used Z and X. I went full throttle, and then, which I didn't mean to do. I shouldn't be allowed in in, in charge of spaceships. I really shouldn't be. Because now I'm crashing into the mud, which is a mistake. But I only, I only I wasted, I think, around about three odd meters a second, which is not terrible. It's not brilliant. But. So now I'm going to use the plus key to uh, that's doing something odd. There we go. Ah, close enough. That will do. And we'll get rid of the maneuver now. And let's point ourselves. Oh, I don't. Doesn't matter which way we. we, 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 we doesn't matter which way we are pointing. Uh, so what I can do is I can click on. What I thought you could do is click on the the the, the encounter. All right. Let's get back to here. Ah, I want. Uh, da, 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 where do I want Mun encounter? I can't I auto so far. Okay. Warp there. Cause that's going to be quite far from the uh, from the Mun. I should be able to get in close and actually warp to the Seer influence chain. There we go. See the man approaching. Oh, I see. I'm. I'm. I'm coming just in behind it, kind of thing. Anyway, we're now in the man's sphere of influence, and the man is the only gravity affecting the motion of your ship. But you're on the escape trajectory relative to the man, which means that you are moving too quickly to orbit the man. I wonder if you, if a different thing came up, if it said, oh, you're crashing into the mun, that's bad. Uh, if you didn't do anything, you'd whiz on past it and escape. You need to slow down on velocity uh, at periapsis in order to be captured and insert into mid orbit. Remember, orbit 101, best to change your apoapsis at periapsis, and capturing is effectively changing your apoapsis from something far beyond the moon's SOI, just so, so to a height that leaves, never leaves at mun's SOI, so we're going to do that. Though perhaps it's hiding under the MUN service, I mean, you'll crash unless you do something. You can fix this by creating maneuver about halfway through to the MUN, or even earlier. Then adjust either of the blue handles, uh, radial or radial, radial and radial, to shift your perhaps to the altitude that you want to be at. Hmm, okay. So they didn't have a separate one for if you crash into the MUN like an idiot. So I'm going to focus the view onto the MUN, because that's going to be easier to uh, get to here and. Um, I think I'm about to, I think I'm doing something that is going to tell me to do in a second actually. Uh, what's my 73k? So let's bring it down to 73k. Whee. Uh, we're using move nodes. Um, and set once you've uh, started to execute your maneuver burn and you've lost a bit lower than escape, you have a reasonable. Right. We'll be using a maneuver node again to perform the capture burn and insert into the moon orbit. Add a node, perhaps it's once you've started to execute your capture burn and velocity is a bit lower than escape, you have a reasonable moon apoapsis and therefore are in orbit and I'd like to escape. We'll proceed. All right, so I need to go until the actual orbit happens. I'm going to walk to there. I want to start about. 10 seconds on either side of, of before this. So I'm just gonna, I'm just going in closely. Oh no, that's not what we're doing. Walk here. I'm gonna backspace someone else. Um, 
Actually, so I'm focused on my own craft here. I'm just going to walk ahead until I get to about um, slightly over 20 seconds to go. So when this counts down to 10 seconds, I'm going to go. So set of four, three, two, one, go. And I'm going to put myself at the maneuver node, which I hadn't done before. Fortunately, I wasn't that far off. That could have gone very wrong. Four, three, two, one, zero. Uh -huh. Tutorial complete. Good work. You're now in a stable circular orbit around the moon with a ship fully capable of landing. Uh, capable of landing anyway, after you did a couple of transfer stage, so it's not in the way, which will be the next tutorial. Uh, today you've learned how to manu use maneuver nodes to plan future orbits, set out travel to another world, and park in orbit around it. In the next lesson we'll become the landing procedure, which I'm really looking forward to showing you. Landing on another body is both exciting and terrifying, yes. For now I'm running late for lunch, I'll see you later. I'm going to just fine tune my orbit for no good reason at all. Close enough. And I'm going to say thanks so much for watching. Uh, do hit like and subscribe if you've been enjoying these videos. Come visit Neil Love Dice at neillovedice.com. Uh, you can also find us on Facebook and Twitter and there'll be links to all of that in the video description. And until next time, reach for the stars.